just take a look. That's good. Leave it nice and full. I want you to look. It's just water with the three colors up on the edge. Are all rocks gray? The answer is no. They're all different colors. So, and you will see them mixed together. Every object has three colors. It has a sh shadow, it has a basic color, and it has a highlight. So first, we're going to play with the shadow. So what did I just do? I put a little bit of black on the brush, dipped it in the water, and now I'm going to go to the logical place for a shadow, which is where the rocks come together. I'm wetting the rock so that it won't take the color as easily. Okay? Now we put a little of this on. What happens? Take some of it, but not a lot of it. So you're using it kind of as a stain rather an acrylic stain rather than a paint. Exactly. Stain or a wash. If I screw up, I will paint the whole thing white. Spray it white with a primer. That has been known to happen. It happened on the mountain upstairs. We just had too much color. Now I don't particularly like this little thing here. So I have a brush that has a little bit of coarseness to it. gone. While it's wet, you can manipulate the colors. Everybody thinks they can't. But I'm going to show you something right now. See this rock area here that I'm just wetting? Watch what happens. Here's some of the brown that I worked in. Here's some of the yellow. If I add enough water and I get it mixed in there a little bit right, a lot of water in here now, watch underneath there. See how the shadow's coming in? Mm -hmm. We're not talking mm -hmm. rocket science. If you don't like it, add water and wash it away. It helps if you've wet it. I'm just barely touching it. You know what a scotch brite is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rub it down with a scotch brite. It'll take the highlights right off and reduce it back to the almost to the white. So again, I'll do that here because I like the gray, but I want to get a little more highlight like this. You can oh. do that. So now, is the, uh, those the main three colors that yes. you use mainly on everything? Uh, yes. Okay. Now, what's going to alter that? You can add a touch of green for a vertigray look. Don't play too hard with that. It's very difficult to, con to control unless you're an artist. So I leave the upper area lighter and the lower area has the shades to it. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're creating three things again. Highlight, basic color, shadow. If you're painting a human, it has to have highlight, basic color, shadow. Look at the conflict. You've got smooth, and then you've got all this little area in here. Smooth, so you've got conflict. So we go shadow and highlight, basic color. Shadow, highlight, basic color. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, now, you see what I'm doing? Just so we go over this again, I'm going in the valley, in the valley, in the valley. What if we don't like this? Wash stick it, it under the faucet. All right, this one hasn't been done. So I'm going to stick it in some water. And it picked up some of this as it was doing that. Is that a bad thing? Nope. nope. Does your choice of colors vary with the locale? 
it can. What my choice of colors varies with is really how I'm feeling at that moment. Huh. Now look at how that has developed some character. Yeah, it looked almost smooth when you first exactly. started with it. Yep. George, you asked about the hole. Uh, what do I do with them? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's simple as sometimes I put shrubs into them. Another stranger? I don't have a. Do I have a screwdriver? You want a little knife tip? Uh, yeah, that would be great. Thank you. Got it. So all I'm going to do is go into that and come out of it. So you make it a feature? Always. All right, so we see what I've done. I'm just going to let that set up. I actually think I'd like the shadow to be heavier in here. But it's so wet now that it's not quite holding it the way I want it to. Do you ever do something like use a hair dryer to try to... You, I have done that. I have done that. I, don't want to get into too much of a forced issue of what we're doing. No, no, but just if you're trying to judge, have you gone far enough? Do you try to accelerate that so yep. you can do it in real time? It, that actually will. Well, look at this already. Mm -hmm. See, this is coming out. It won't take very long before I know whether that's the way I want it to look. This is still pretty dry, so let's try this, see what happens. Good. Good. You. Too bad. Yeah. Hey, yeah. It did it again. I'm going to add some water. There we go. Don, can you hand me that coffee down this right there? Now, you might, I'm going to hold this down so you can see it. But I'm deliberately giving this a little bit of a darker spin to it. <laughs> yeah, hold it a minute. Good? That's good. <clears throat> now remember, I'm still using the colors that are on the side. I'm never using anything straight. See how that's got, that actually has a lot of water mixed in with it. So I'm just going to dance along and just give it a little bit of, I don't want too much yellow. That gets overwhelming pretty quickly. But the brown is good, especially in this area of the country. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just dancing along here. I'm not doing anything spectacular. Nothing spectacular. If I don't want it, I just wipe it out a little bit. Let's see how that dries a little. This one coming. I actually think that that's a little strong, so I'm going to lighten it up a little with the brown. But okay. I don't want it too dark. So you've got to pull it out. After you've put some dark in there, okay. you've got to use some water to pull it out. We've got plenty of rock, so we got plenty for everybody to play with. I have some other brushes if you want to do more than oh, one I, at a time. I, or... One is good. Okay. That way we can we can. Crit I, no I, critiquing. I can <laughs> critique. I don't want them to. <laughs> no critiquing. Can you turn around? Can you have to look at the other side of that side? We don't want to see your crevasse. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's got some yellow on it. I talked to him, I think February. It's actually running down. How's it going? Hmm? He's in the company. He's got a 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 company. He's
Seems like a nice thing. I know it's a joke, but I feel like suffering and finding good places. You thought you weren't going to be able to do any of your own What? Well, eventually I figure I'll be doing it on my own. I just need the overall guidance. No, just guidance. Just system. touch it. Just, just touch it. Touch it. Uh, a, a shadow area. Okay. So I can do it here. Yep. Good. Come in up here. Up here. Right inside there. See. Okay. Now I'll leave that. Okay. All right. Come over and do something else that has a shadow. Okay, all right, I see. There's nothing to stop you from bouncing back and forth. So basically you want it, if it's an overhang, you want it, that's where you want to create the shadows? That's absolutely correct. Trained as an artist? I took my first course at the the uh, Rhode Island School of Design when I on scholarship at 13. <coughs> the answer is yeah. And for every two business courses I took at Riv year, I took one art course. Ah. So I have a degree in business, but my mind is well. Well, but it really, it's yeah, you know, it's all about doing. It's not so much about. But all of you guys can do this. This is not again. This is rock science. 